Mahmoud Abbas uh, promised a major announcement, but his uh, press conference today offered no blockbuster. Uh, he did not resign, nor he did he uh, disband uh, PA or end security cooperation with Israel. Abbas instead wondered why the Palestinians were not receiving the same attention as other regional conflicts. Shabinari reports. Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas arrived in Bethlehem Wednesday for what was billed as a, quote, important speech ahead of Eastern Orthodox Christmas celebrations and the traditional birthplace of Jesus Christ. Despite various rumors and threats issued in the past, in his speech Abbas did not sound like he was considering resigning and denied speculation the Palestinian Authority was on the verge of collapse, an option recently mentioned by the Israeli Prime Minister. <laughs> We know the situation is difficult and very complicated and that the solutions may not arrive today or tomorrow. But we must continue to maintain that which we have achieved up till now. This land is ours. We are protecting our land. We will continue to be responsible, whether a solution is near or not. While Abbas looks set to continue in his role for now, his popularity, as well as that of the Palestinian Authority, is at an all-time low. This PA is not useful. This PA is an interim authority that is supposed to take us from here to independence, to a state. The PA is stuck, static, is not taking us anywhere. And Israel is taking a lot of advantage of the current situation of the PA. Abbas reiterated a commitment to the two-state solution during the speech, while also condemning what he perceives as Israeli overreactions to Palestinian violence. Abbas also had criticism for the international community, which he feels is too preoccupied with other matters. We've seen a solution for Iran and a solution for Libya and also for Syria. Are we not as good as they are? This conflict came before all the others. The Palestinian leader added he would call for an international conference to provide a solution to the Palestinian problem, but such efforts have brought about little real progress in the recent past. Mohammed uh, El Qasim, I24 News correspondent and analyst, you were today in Bethlehem. You saw and you heard Abbas's speech. And you know, I'm wondering how come the Palestinians are so surprised that uh, they are not the top priority of the Arab world or the international community right now? Well, they're not surprised. They're they're a lot, you know, they're upset that they're not the main uh, issue in the Middle East as uh, they have been for many many years. And that's why I think that President Abbas and the Palestinian Authority are trying to ignite fire under the Palestinian-Israeli conflict, trying to push their, uh, you know, this cause to the uh, front burner. They know that uh, the United States has given up on uh, bringing the two parties, Israel and Palestine, to the table, negotiation, uh, negotiating table to, uh, for the next uh, year, the last year of President uh, Obama's uh, uh, term, second term in office, and uh, they can't uh, really rely on the Arab states as they are, many Arab states are busy with their, with their internal uh, issues now. So the Palestinians are trying now to go in a different direction, go through the the international community through, go through the United Nations again, saying that if you're, you know, if you're able to uh, deal with the Iran nuclear file, if you're able to deal with the Syrian, Libyan, and other uh, and Yemen and other files, why don't you deal with the you know the the oldest uh, conflict uh, in the last hundred years? You know, I'm I'm asking myself and hearing uh, his speech, and I'm asking myself. Didn't he, in one way or another, play directly to the hands of Benjamin Netanyahu when Benjamin Netanyahu was saying all this time that the Palestinian Authority is the one who's inciting these kids to go out and do what they're doing, that the Palestinian Authority wants the people to go for an uprising because they want to bring maybe the Palestinian issue back on the table? This, in one way or another, and excuse me, whomever is listening to me, is not such a smart move. Well, listen, there is some credence to what you're saying, that the Palestinian Authority uh, is behind uh you know, these demonstrations and people going out every day. The Palestinian Authority says that we have every right to go out and peacefully uh, protest and resist the occupation. However, they deny that they are inciting people to go out and kill and run over, uh, you know, people with cars. However, two main issues that the President Abbas tried today to uh, send to the world. Basically, he was trying to say that next week there will be a very important meeting, the P a PLO meeting, that will take you know, decisive steps in dealing with Israel. Two issues, 
Oslo Accord and the security coordination. That's one. The second issue is now he's appealing, as we've said, to the international com community, saying, why don't you have a, a big convention, big uh, conference about Middle East, uh, the, the Palestinian issue in the Middle East, and maybe have, uh, you know, we can uh, bring back the Palestinian and Israelis to the table again. Maybe, who knows? This is a new year. Mohammed Al-Qasim, thank you very much. My pleasure.